The gospel for salvation is the message of reconciliation with God. It is the good news by which we are saved. It begins with the fact that Christ died for our sins according to the scripture. He died because the penalty for sin is death, and we needed a substitute. Therefore, Christ died in our place, the just for the unjust. He was then buried, which is proof of the fact that he died. He was then raised from the dead on the third day, according to the scriptures. His resurrection is very important because it gives proof to the fact that God has justified us before him through Christ's substitution for our sins. Now, why would Christ do something like this? The reality is God does not want anybody to be lost. It is God's desire that all men are saved and come to a knowledge of the truth. However, the reality is we have a choice. We have a choice of whether we want to accept his offer or not. His offer is salvation by faith in the fact that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures, and that he was buried and then he rose on the third day according to the scriptures. This message has the inherent ability to save. There is no other way to be saved because there is no other name given among men by which we must be saved. Therefore, this is the message, not only in which we stand, but also by which we are saved. Moreover, brethren, I make known to you the good news, which good news I brought to you, which also you received, in which also you stand, through which also you are saved. Since you hold fast the word which I preached to you, unless you believe without an object, that is, you did not believe with a purpose, or your faith wasn't focused at Christ. This salvation is offered by grace. Grace is God's attitude whereby he gives a benefit without consideration of merit. Therefore, grace cannot be earned because it does not take into consideration works or personal effort. Faith is simply taking God at his word. Christ died for our sins. He was buried, and he was raised on the third day according to the scriptures. You believe this, and you will be saved. Will you believe God and be saved today?